Transportation has been a critical focus of our planning effort in recent years. The pandemic brought a new urgency for safe and reliable transportation, especially for our frontline workers and essential workers that have been using it the most frequently over the last five months. So we didn't put these plans on hold. Our, can, our, office, our offices continue to work. Our transportation department continues to work every day. Instead, we took this opportunity to actually make some progress. Earlier this summer, we launched something called Healthy Streets. We installed pop-up bike lanes in downtown that connect neighborhoods to, to commuting routes, and people saw the orange barrels in many places. We began offering 90-day free passes for blue bikes for essential workers, and we took steps to make neighborhood bus routes safer and more reliable. Today, I'm announcing some permanent street upgrades that advance our Healthy Street Program and meet some of our key planning goals here in Boston. First, starting this fall, we'll be installing new bus lanes on neighborhood corridors working, uh, where working people rely on uh, MBTA routes very heavily. On Columbus Ave in Roxbury, we're building a bus lane in the middle of the roadway. They are gonna have, um, they're going to have boarding platforms for passengers with safety and accessibility features, so we're going to be making sure that they're safe to board and that the, the customers or the commuters are safe. Nearly one-third of the people who travel on Columbus Ave travel on buses. These lanes will make a big difference in reliability and travel time, and it will also make the streets work better for everyone, including cars and bikes as people go down them. On North Washington, North Washington Street in the North End and the West End, we're adding a bus lane that will serve up to 12,000 12, commuters a day. That includes many essential workers who have been riding buses throughout this pandemic. On Washington Street in Rosendale, we're going to add an outbound evening bus lane from Forest Hills to Rosendale Square. This route is roughly used by 19,000 daily commuters, and we've seen success with the morning lanes here. And I want to thank the community of Rosendale, because quite honestly, this is one of the first neighborhoods that we, we did a pilot program. Uh, we did a pilot program over a weekend. We did a pilot program over a month. And the community of, of Rosendale overwhelmingly asked us to make a permanent. So I want to thank you uh, for setting the, the tone and the standard here. Bus lanes have worked well uh, and proven popular. They get more people safely and efficiently where they need to go. And they also increase equity in our working class and our senior residents. And I want to thank the MBTA for their partnership on this as well. The second big step that I can announce today is that we're making many of our pop-up bike lanes into permanent separated bike lanes this fall. That includes routes around Boston Common and Public Gardens, Tremont Street, Boylston Street, Charles Street, Beacon Street, and Arlington Street. This is a part of our Connect Downtown network linking our neighborhood routes to downtown jobs. They're a great recreational tool and for tourism as well. In addition to the bike lanes, we're adjusting traffic signals to increase safety. And we'll be redesigning intersection work for pedestrians to make sure that our pedestrians, as they get into intersections, that they work. So we're asking people to, as the construction's going on, to be patient with us here. But again, this is all about adding opportunities in our city. We're going to continue to offer our free 90-day blue bike, blue bike pass program. It's a great time to try commuting by bicycle if you haven't done it already. This past Sunday, Blue Bikes riders set an all-time daily record with 14,403 riders. We're proud of the work we've done to expand this public bike share network in Boston and our neighborhoods and, and uh, quite honestly, our neighboring cities and towns. Um, many years ago when we started this, it wasn't in every neighborhood. We have Blue Bikes now in almost, I think, almost every neighborhood in the city of Boston and obviously cities and towns that surround us. In addition, we're going to keep working with residents on solutions for American Legion Highway from Dorchester to Rosendale to improve safety. Uh, many complaints have come in on that stretch of road with people racing and drag racing, and we're going to continue to work to monitor to, to make that roadway better. To learn more about anything that I spoke about today or any road improvements or bike improvements that we're going to be doing in the city of Boston, we ask you to go to boston.gov slash healthy streets. That's boston.gov slash healthy streets. You can also talk to our transportation planners directly in both outdoor office hours and virtual office hours.